Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dice Folk. I'm Evie Green Bottle, and today we're going to be starting a brand new game of Dice Folk because I've been having a lot of fun with this, and we've had one full run through and two episodes already on the channel, but I just thought, let's play some more. Maybe we could try out a different talisman. We haven't tried the Storm one yet. The Storm Talisman grants us more command over the most agile chimeras. It's used to it used to be the possession of a fearless princess. That sounds nice, and you get some really cute things. There's a Newtsy here. He's like a little new. He's very cute. And Lut oh yeah, Lutrish. I have played Lutrish before. I played this over on Twitch as well, and we played with Lutrish, who's very cute. And lots of really cute ones. So let's go. All right, so we have to choose our direction to start. And I think there's, okay, there's a statue down here, but there's also two that way. This is a cursed chest, so we could just get a cursed piece of equipment. The laughing trinket. So every two turns inflicts plus three confusion on the imposing leader. That seems quite good, actually. Or force field on spawn strongly heals, but attacked and it loses an HP forever. That seems terrible. Let's go for the laughing trinket and hold on to that. And let's go get our very first chimera. Now, remember, we can only pick one, but we're going to unlock it and see what we get. So an Armandoro, so this nice little bird guy. When he's the lead, he attacks the opposing leader. So that's quite good. But we're gonna leave him here for now because we need to see what other ones are available. All right, down here, what do we have? Oh, Baramez. Okay, randomly rotates its own team with a spell. So you just click on him and then he rotates the team around. Now he does have more health and the same damage. So possibly between those two, but let's just go back out again. I think we'll just kind of fight and we want to see if we can find the other one. So we have all three options unlocked, possibly. Uh oh, but it does mean fighting our very first battle with the basic turboid guys here. Don't know if that's good. Oh, look at these ones because we're like the different starting thing. They've got like kind of the curly, kind of wavy, sort of more watery or airy hair. All right, so attack, rotate right, guard, do a guard. That's a good idea. Then they can attack. And then we will attack. He's got our most damage. And then we can rotate right. And when this guy... Oh. Yeah, whenever they enter or exit the lead, they get to do some damage. So that's quite good. Clash attack, rotate right, attack, rotate right, and guard. You can do guard. And then we'll do a clash attack. Oh, I should have actually rotated it so that we got the strong guy back. But that's okay. We'll rotate right. Then they get to do some damage because they've entered the lead and then an attack here and we've gotten rid of that first guy which is great news and we can end our turn reckless attack versus a clash attack a random rotation let's do a random rotation oh it was getting i was hoping we'd get the guy who's the strongest back in front but we did not let's do a clash attack and then the reckless attack i think the reckless attack leaves him confused and well, the mink pocket is stealing our gold which is a little annoying not good all right, well, let's, ooh, energy blast. Let's rotate, energy blast. There we go, and we have succeeded and got our gold back, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, nice little victory there. All right, six gold is all the loot we get from that battle, unfortunately. That was not a lot of stuff. And we found the boss in an elite battle. Okay, so we found kind of the most difficult things over here. Oh, but we've also discovered where the other Chimera statue is. So let's go down this way and see if we can go get that. Oh, look at Kitsuna! They're so cute. Turns out he gains strength though, so he's really quite strong. Alright, let's do the clash attack. Ow, and then we'll do a reckless attack. And I don't really... Oh, I guess we could have rotated because I do get the free damage, but... Oh, this is going to really hurt. Ow. Okay, well, we've got him down. But poor Turboy Day is really hurting. Oh, we got a bunch of sweet brood berries. And so they've eaten them and they've healed up. All right, let's go to this shrine, the final shrine, so we can choose which one we want. The last one is Svindle. And Svindle, when he enters the lead, if health is not full, he gains focus. Okay, so that's quite good. Uh, they all have the same damage, so it's really just what we want. He attacks the opposing leader, he can randomly rotate his team, or he gains focus. Focus on a Nectar to Chimera deals extra damage, so that could be quite good. Maybe we'll try Svindle. I'll have this nice little boar guy this time. 
Let's recruit him and we'll replace this guy because he's the weakest. He only has the four damage. So let's replace him. All right, we could go to the abandoned tent. Let's go see because I think, ah, uh, the, the travel bag. And we'll increase his equipment slot on Spindle because he's the one who we're going to be keeping. The other two are just temporary, of course. All right, oh, Chisley and Boglin. They're so cute. Okay, but Chisley, uh, when he attacks your team, the attack team randomly rotates, so he's going to be rotating us. Boglin doesn't have anything. Let's do a guard on the turboid A, and then a clash attack. We'll be protected, but he'll take some damage. Then we can do a reckless attack. Now you're incapacitated, but we can also rotate. And there we go. Oh, and they need to rotate as well. All right, on the next turn, we've got what? Boglin's in the front. He has four damage. He has a clash attack. We also need to do a rotation. Reckless attack and guard. Let's do guard. And then the clash attack. Then we can do our reckless attack and get rid of Boglin completely. But Turboid A is now incapacitated, so we need to rotate here. And they can't rotate anymore because there's only the one of them. And of course, when we rotate, we do an extra damage. So that's also very good. And then I guess if we just do our reckless attack, we'll win. Nice. Fantastic. And we're up to 21 gold now. And, oof, found some brood berries so we can eat a sour berry. Grants plus one intelligence to the chimera of your choice. I mean, that can... I guess we'll give it to Swindle. I don't know what... What does intelligence do for him? A stat that is not found on all chimeras. It's represented with a blinking value. Well, we'll give it to Swindle. Although, oh no, he doesn't even have it. Oh, I just wasted it because he doesn't have it to begin with, so we can't increase it. I thought it would give him one for the first one. I guess that's good to know. Didn't realize that was going to be what happened. Uh, this is plus one strength, so we'll give that to Spindle. So he got to eat both, but one of them had absolutely no effect. It was a bit wasted, but I suppose it would have been wasted anyways because the other two are not permanent members of our team. And energy blast. Ooh, that's good. It does six damage, actually. Although a clash attack would kill our little turboid, so we're going to have to rotate and then do a clash attack. Ow, but at least our Swindle does lots of damage, but he also does lots of damage. Oh, attack is... Uh, so, oh, it's really close. If we do a rotation, doesn't matter which way we rotate, they'll do damage because he's entered the lead and we've won without... Without taking too much damage, I guess. I have been wanting to play this game again for some time, basically since I recorded the last one, so... When I was like looking at my schedule for the next couple of weeks for videos for YouTube, I was like, I need to squeeze this one in and I'm really glad that I have. All right, dice with, I don't think we have any, oh, uh, we need to go to both, I guess. But the scroll master, I think will give us another person. Free rotations or energy shock without attacking, leader deals an amount of damage equal to its strength to the opposing leader. I mean, that is very good. If we could get a few of these on our dice, I think we'd be quite happy. It is better than a reckless attack because reckless attack leaves the attack like the person who's done the attacking um incapacitated which is obviously not great some of the rotations are not great and also these idle ones are obviously not good either so let's replace one of the idols and one of the reckless attacks i think i don't really want any more of the rotations although they are quite a good because you get to choose the, the like rotation of these ones we could buy it but let's leave it we can always come back possibly before the boss let's go over to scroll master i think usually you get another chimera here right we have to buy our own, but oh. Escabel, enemy rotation, if in the lead, attacks the opposing leader. I mean, that's quite good. That's the same as this one, isn't it? Oh no, this is Hegan's focus, right? It's only eight gold, and then we could replace one of our turboids. Uh, I think we will. He definitely has four attack though. So actually we would be losing out on an attack. But at least, hmm. You know what? Maybe he's not better, actually. Well, he has more health. Let's just get him. We'll replace this one. And he, he could be temporary, though. We could always replace him later if we have the opportunity. All right, let's go up to the battle up here. All right, Boglin and Ludigo. Oh, Ludigo's so cute. Look at this little crystal on his head. Oh, my goodness. We don't have a cute team, unfortunately. It's, yeah, it's really not a cute team. We've got Energy Shock and Energy Blast here, though. Ooh, energy blast is good. Does it deal damage to both of them? Oh, that's very good. 
All right, Clash Attack is actually going to take this Bogdan out, but Turboid A is left with just one health, which is a little unfortunate, of course. We just will swap that out. And then Escabel does a damage there. And turn start, he's gained a strength. He's got a ranged attack, but we've got energy blast and a random rotation, which is not super great. We'll do that. Ooh, he's in the lead now, so his next attack will do extra damage. You use your attack on Escabel because little Turboid's almost dead. <laughs> Poor Turboid. All right, our reckless attack will finish off the Lunago and we are done, so the incapacitated doesn't matter. And we gain a little bit of gold. A dice destruction token. Target a die. It is used without tricking its effect. Oh, that's cool. And 11 gold. And what have we unlocked on either side of the map? We've got the black market and also the bonfire. Let's head to the black market first and then we'll head to the bonfire. The black market, we've got an enemy rotation token, a revive token, which could be really good. Phoenix Ashes KO'd plus one strength forever. Curse, once equipped, cannot. Okay. Oh, when it's knocked out, it gets plus one strength forever. That doesn't seem that great. Uh, passive, plus five strength and minus five to its max HP with a bit of rotten meat. Or the last slice of pizza on spawn, it strongly heals and also grants focus to the strongest opponent. Ugh. Okay, I think we're gonna leave without any of those. I mean, a revive token is actually not a bad idea. Okay, let's get the revive token. Then if we run into danger, we at least have something that might be able to save our skins. What to do? Rest, eat, or sew a pouch. Uh, rest would revive and strongly heal. Eat will slightly increase a random stat. I mean, Turboid A is almost dead, so I feel like resting is a good idea and everyone has taken a little bit of damage. So probably that. I mean, sewing a pouch would be great, but I think we'd have to go with this for now. And then we've got the elite and then the boss, which is a bit scary also. I mean, we could fight the elite and then possibly go to the dice shop or back to the black market and buy something, but I don't know what we'd want to buy. I think we've had a bit of a rough start here. All right, they've got a random taunt, which is not a big deal. And a rotation. We've got energy shock. We've got a reckless attack. And we've also got the ability to rotate here. Ooh, well, what's the... Oh, when we have no more opponent dice, they attack us. So if we use up all of our dice, we do get attacked by them, which is not great. Okay, they've rotated twice, which means he gets a free attack, which is great. We've got a reckless attack. We can also rotate. Let's rotate so that Svindle's in the front and then end our turn. Oh, and Petrosil is healing, which is a little annoying. If we, let's see, if we energy shock, that guy will be gone. Chisley will be out. We really want to fight this Armantis, probably. Oh no, and he's going to be attacking. Oh yeah, he only does four damage. Actually, get them to rotate. Then he attacks. He only has two. There we go. the same here we attack let's get them to rotate then when we do our attacks it's on our mantis and he's the one we want to be destroying first although petrosil is really annoying because he is healing him so maybe we actually do want to fight him first let's do the guard then let him attack because it'll do nothing because we've been guarded maybe we will try to get rid of petrosil first just so that we're not getting they're not healing as much They've got a random owl, which hit for two. We've got energy blast, which hits both of them, which is fantastic. They can do a rotation and I guess we could rotate as well, but I don't know if we need to. But sure, why not? When he enters the lead, he does some damage to someone. So it's a bit of extra damage. All right, clash attack is a bit harsh, but then we can also do a reckless attack. Uh, and then we could do a random rotation or we could rotate right. Let's rotate right. We'll get Swindle back in the front. And he gets to become focused because he's not full health, which is cool. And we can rotate around here. That means his next attack will do even more damage. So let's get these guys to rotate. We'll do our Rex attack, which will take out our Mantis because that did double. So we did 12 total. Very good. And then you guys can do your attack off too. And that is fine by me. Then all they can do is taunt. Oh, if we... Reckless attack. 
And then I think possibly if we rotate, will he do a damage? Yes, he did, because he entered lead. Excellent. And there we go, we finished. We took a bit of damage in there. Not great, especially Turboid. He's having a bad time. When an alley... When an ally is knocked out, rather, the items hold her strongly healed. I don't know why I always read ally as alley, but I don't know why I do that. Anyways, and also to mirror. Leader pre repeats the previous action used except idle, even if it's originated from an opponent or a token. Mirror dice is pretty cool. Let's put one here and maybe one... Actually, maybe we get rid of two idols. I don't know, do we want them on two different dice? No, let's put them on the same dice, I think. So we just have like more chance because we don't want to have like two mirrors get rolled. And if they're on two different dice, then that could happen. It would be a bit annoying. I think if an ally gets knocked out, the item holder strongly heals. So let's put it on here. Turbo, there's a good chance Turbo is going to be knocked out and then at least he will strongly heal. I wonder if we want to have the laughing trinket on someone though. Every two turns inflicts confusion on the opposing leader. We could put it on Swindle. I think that could be helpful for fighting the boss here. And despite having some money, I think we'll go straight for the boss. Oh, Fernitza! I've never seen that one before. Fernitza, at the end of his turn, heals one HP to a random ally, so he's going to be continually healing. Uh, Koshmora, no more opponent dice, inflicts free co uh, confusion. So we need to make sure we don't use all of our dice up. And Man Dragoon, no more opponent dice, inflicts sleep. So yeah, definitely make sure we don't use our, all of our dice up because they both are not very nice when we do that. All right, do a guard. Then we can do a clash attack, but we will be saved. And then an energy blast and do six damage to everyone. That sounds great. They have a free rotation, which is probably good because both of these guys only do three damage and then the random is probably an attack. Oh no, Turboid is having a bad time there. All right, at the end of the turn, healing to one. But we also get to do confusion at the end of turns, which is good. Let's do the reckless attack and then we'll rotate. Let's have them rotate as well. Then we can do, we've got two clash attacks here. There we go. Okay, so everyone's taking a bit of damage. Not great, but not terrible either. And then of course healing for one, which is just mostly just annoying, so. We should be able to kill for Nitsa right here there we go and now there'll be no more healing we are incapacitated which means we probably wanted to rotate right actually there's no oh no there is a clash attack oh dear if we rotate right though then they get to put stuff on us which is a, probably worse attack rotate yeah if we do a clash attack we are not well you know what let's just oh no turboid it came in i forgot it was gonna be tur oh I, I massively messed up turboid is not only asleep but he's now knocked out but Spindle is now fully healed, so I guess that was okay. But poor Turboid. Oh man, poor guy. All right, energy. Oh, not a reckless attack. A reckless attack is not a good start. Let's make sure they use up all of their things before we do anything reckless. Oh, he's almost dead. Their random thing was just a rotation. Our reckless attack will finish off the Mandragoon. So we just have the Koshmora left. Right, you put your guard up, sir, and then do a clash attack, but we are safe. Do your random. Oh, he missed, and we will do a reckless attack. Try to wear you down a little bit. Oh, he's got plus three confusion, which is great. So when he does confusion, he's actually just going to be harming himself, which is good. We can put our guard up anyways, but yeah, he's taking, trying to hit us, but he's just hurting himself, which is great for us. Energy blast. What is sleep? Does he? Oh, he put us to sleep. Ah, oh, that's a little annoying. Uh, let's do a rotation and then we'll do the clash attack. Now he's confused again, which is great. We've got energy shock. We also have a mirror, so we can use that again. And then we've got the clash attack. Oh, Escobar is getting really, really low. We could rotate and put Spindle back at the front, but he's sleeping. I don't know how long that lasts. Oh, it must be attacked in order to wake up. Okay. Um, okay, fine. Put Escobar to sleep. Let's rotate. Oh, no, do you know what? He's not going to be... <laughs> this isn't going to do anything. It's going to miss. Ugh, that's annoying. Okay, at least he still gets the confusion on him. 
Right, he, we've got to be attacked to wake up, so we'll do a clash attack. That should wake us up. Then we can attack. And then if we mirror our attack, then Koshmora is done. And we have won. Oh, fantastic. Excellent news. And equipment choice. We've got an ice sword. Small chance of inflicting frozen on the target. It's a 25% chance. Uh, I do like that one. Tar frozen is really good because then you do 100% damage to the frozen target. Sun tears, though. It's a passive plus four to your max HP and two to your intelligence. We are not going to have any intelligence people, though, it doesn't seem like. And on spawn gains taunt with the neon shades. And as cool as those are going to be, definitely going to go with the ice sword. The ice sword is really great. And I'm going to put the ice sword onto Escabel. And we get to move on to the second stage here. All right, we've got a Chimera Shrine right here. Let's go see what we're unlocking. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's Lutrish. He's very cute. When he exits, the lead grants five strength to the new ally leader. So ideally you have him in the front and then you rotate him out because then the next leader gets plus five to their attack. So good. I mean, we might find someone better, but actually I love him. So we are going to be getting him anyway. So regardless of what the other ones might be, I don't care. Lutrish is our new leader. All right, let's... Wait, we fully healed upon arriving, right? I think. Let's go do a battle. Yes, we are fully healed. Okay, that's good. So if we rotate to the right, so he... I mean, he has seven damage, which is a large amount of damage, but when he exits the lead, the next person gets five extra strength. So now this energy shock is massive. And then if we mirror that, does that mean we get to go... Oh, they did it back to us. Oh, we should have done it after rotation. That was very silly of me. Oh, Mama Drea, let's see. Attack. Once per turn, inflicts Entangle on the imposing leader. Okay, and then Entangle means you can't rotate. And the Momo Hebi attack. Once per turn, inflicts three poison on their target. Oof. All right, let's swap out. Oh, no, we didn't really want to swap out. Oh, wait, no. Because his um, strength is going to go away anyways. It was just for that one turn. Oh, wait, but... Lutcher's back in the front means we can do a random rotation. That means we get back to 11. So now when we do the clash attack, we're really strong. And then the same when he does his reckless attack here. And we've killed the Mama Drio, no problem. Swindle is entangled though, which means if we try to rotate, he won't actually rotate. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's good to keep in mind. They can't do anything. We are incapacitated. If we try to rotate, it won't work because of the entanglement. But now he is un he's not tangled anymore. And Mama Hedri, or Mama Hebi is uh, confused. So we'll leave him like that. If we do our energy shock, he is done for. And we have won. Not too bad. We did take a bit of damage. It's seven points. But we can eat some sweet berries and he's going to heal for four. So that's okay. All right, we've got a bonfire, another battle, oh, and a pile of gold. I mean, let's just go get the pile of gold then, shall we? Then we've got another battle, and there's also the Traveler here. Let's go see the Traveler. Hey there, Traveler. You have any extra gold? I could use some. So if we give him some gold, we could get some damage dealing equipment or strength increasing equipment. Isn't damage dealing the same as strength increasing, really? Let's go 11 gold to get the strength increasing. We've got on spawn. If health is not full, plus four strength for the rest of the battle. Ooh, that's quite good. Let's unequip this. We're going to bring that to Swindle because he's currently not full health. So if he has plus four strength, that'll be good. Let's just give him 10 the whole time. And we'll put the straw cape, I think, over here for now. Fantastic. Thank you, Traveler. A stone hand. What's the stone hand? Collect all your loot. Oh, it's another cursed object. All right. Gains between zero and eight strength at random. The ring of sloth is that's pretty good. Uh, ring of any enemy, ring of envy, unequip grants plus one equipment slots to all of its allies. That's quite cool. A ring of gluttony revives and or fully heals the whole team unequip. So that could be quite good if before we go into a boss battle, we need to revive the team. We could equip that on somebody. Ring of Sloth is also quite good because that means that we give this to someone and they just randomly get between zero and eight strength. Of course, if it's zero, it's terrible because it's just taking up an equipment slot. But if it's eight, I mean, that's really incredible. 
Uh, the gluttony seems quite good because we could revive or fully heal our whole team. I mean, that's going to be just like a one-time thing. Whereas that's going to be permanent. Let's go Ring of Sloth. I don't know who we'll give it to just yet. Let's go down here. We've got 10 gold. Revives or lightly heals. Oh, okay, we didn't really need this. Because everybody is full health. So probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have done a battle first. I was a bit of a silly goose because I forgot that, that was what that was going to do. All right, so we've got the guy who entangles. What do we have? Self-inflict sleep on spawn. So Dendroth won't do any damage until he's woken up. And the Terra Salon, if he's attacked, he inflicts poison on the attacker. All right, so... Hmm. Now, let's do the random thing because he's going to miss. But as soon as we attack him, he's going to wake up, so... Let's rotate because then he's going to give the bonus over to Svindle. Then we can do just like quite a lot of damage with the energy shock. And then I guess the clash attack as well. Because he's sleeping, so he doesn't actually get to clash attack. But now he's awake, so he will next time. I think we'll put the guard on ourselves as well. And now he's confused, which is also going to be very helpful. And now when he attacks, that's okay. We can energy blast. And then let's mirror the energy blast. That's going to be really good. Oh yeah, we've done so much damage. This is fantastic. We'll do a rotation here and I guess you guys need to rotate as well. It just is what it is. All right, ideally we rotate here. Um, let's put Spindle back in the front. And we will energy blast, which deals damage to both of them. And then their random thing, ooh, which was hitting us for one. Not too bad. And they randomly rotate. And add a bit of confusion. The confusion is great. I'm definitely feeling that. Lame? What does that mean? Oh, it missed. Don't know. Clash attack will kill this guy. So let's do that. And then you just have one attack. So we will do a reckless attack and be done with that. Fantastic. That was really good. We took very little. I guess Spindle took six. But he's the one who I think if he's hurt, he's getting bonuses. So it's probably fine. Let's head into the shop and see what's here. Hmm. Iron Jaw passive grants a small chance of doing 100% damage when attacking. 20% chance to do 100% damage. That seems quite good. Or the Mysterious Skull. Opponent spawn gains plus one strength the rest of the battle. And attack. Great chance of gaining gold. Also a confusion token, a full revive token. Hmm. Oh, because the revive token gives them 50%, but this is a full revive. Let's get that. Uh, let's leave the rest though. We might come back for those artifacts later. Let's go and do a battle. Boglin, a Mohebi, and another Dendoroth. All right, ideally we want to be hitting the Mohebi first. But let's rotate to the right. He's starting with 10 because he's injured now. So he's getting 15 damage. That is huge. Uh, we'll do the clash attack. Oh my goodness. He, how, what, how did he do so much damage? How did he do 26 in one go? I don't know, but that was intense. And a reckless attack. 15 damage is incredible. I feel like we're in like a pretty good like way. We clash attack, then, oh, and then he's dead immediately. Oh, we did extra because if he enters the lead and his health's not full, he gains the focus as well, of course. Oh, that's why he did so much damage. That was pretty incredible. All right, we need to, let's rotate you out though because you are hurting quite a lot. All right, if we randomly rotate... Oh, I was hoping we would get Lutrish. Let's do this. And because he entered the lead, he was focused and he did double damage. That actually worked out better than I was expecting it to. All right. we Oh, we found the boss. Okay, that's not where we want to go. Let's go to the brood tree. We actually could use some healing. Oh, it's equipment though. Um, edible. So if the item holder is alive at the end of the battle, they will consume the item and benefit from its effect. Okay. We've got Battle Start grants guard to all opponents at the battle end, plus two intelligence forever. We've got the Fruit of Freedom grants relentless to all opponents. 
So an affected Chimera survives one fatal attack and is left with one HP. Oh, that's pretty cool. And at the end of the battle, plus two strength forever. Or Fruit of Destruction strongly hurts itself, but fully heals at the end of battle. Yikes. Okay. I think the Fruit of Freedom, because then you get Relentless to all opponents. Uh, and then you get plus two strength after that forever. I'd like to give it... Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to give it to Spindle, but he doesn't have any space in his bag. We've got two battles, or we could go to the bonfire now. How injured are they? Okay, Spindle is quite injured, like extremely, very much so injured. Uh, but everyone else is kind of okay. So we could go and do another battle, maybe. I mean, this one here is going to be something that heals Spindle. So as long as we don't let Spindle die, we might be okay. You just have to kind of keep him out of the front, I guess. Now, the doggy here. Once per turn, he inflicts incapacitated on whoever's attacked him. So not great. But I think we'll be okay. Let's rotate because you're going to give bonuses to Escabal. Uh, so he's got nine damage here we can do with an energy blast and an energy shock. You guys can try to entangle us, that's fine with us. We'll do a little clash attack and he's almost done. Yeah, because now he's incapacitated as well and a random rotation on you guys. We're gonna try to keep Spindle <laughs> safely back there, I think. We're incapacitated, so if we try to rotate, it's not going to work. I guess we'll do a guard, then an attack. We can let them... Oh, actually, can we... Oh, it rotates right. We do not want to rotate right. Do the attack. We've got the guard anyways. Then do your... Oh, we got poisoned. Random. And then rotate right. Oh, and I think... It was, oh, was he frozen? Was he take? Is he going to take extra damage? All right. Do their random thing. That was just a rotation. So we got to do an extra damage there. Can't Rex attack twice, unfortunately, because if we use the mirror now, we can't do it because we're incapacitated. And if we rotated, then it would just rotate. That's... Oh, actually, it wouldn't be so bad. If we put him in the front, then next turn when we move him, we'll get kind of bonuses. So that's... We'll take that. They're all extremely low, so I'm feeling quite good. Uh, I don't want to rotate right, really, though. Right, let's have them attack. Oh, and that's killed him. Then we can... Random. Right, that just did a rotate. Well, Reckless Attack. That kills this guy. But we are now stuck there. We'll just end our turn. And now if we attack, we win. Oh, okay, that was not so bad. Phew. All right. Oh, good. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. We need some brood berries. What do we got? Grants plus two max HP. Okay, that's cool. Um, yours is 18, 25, 24. So Spindle actually has the lowest. So let's give them all to Spindle. And that actually is kind of healing him because it's giving him more max. We've got an abandoned tent. We've got some debris. And we've, of course, got the shrine. Let's go here. And revives are lightly healed. So let's lightly heal. We'll go get the debris, which is just slightly increases one or multiple stats. So we could put it here. He gets an extra three health. It just, it's not great, but it's better than nothing, I guess. And the tent, and we can get a travel bag. Let's give it, I kind of want to give it to Spindle. But we could give it to, yeah, let's give it to Spindle, actually. I wanted to give him this fruit to eat. So, if the item holder is alive at the end of any battle, it'll consume the item and it'd benefit from its effect. So at the battle start, everybody's going to get relentless, but at the battle end, if Spindle eats it, then he'll gain plus two strength forever. All right, we've got a campfire and another battle. Let's go to the battle. We'll save the campfire for after the elite boss, probably. Oh, no, wait, it gives Relentless to them? Excuse me, what? I thought it gave Relentless to us. What's the... Grants Relentless to all opponents. Oh, I didn't... Re oh, what? Oh, I did not read that closely enough. That is very silly. Okay, fine. Random rotation, you get bonus damage. I guess we'll be doing attack here. Now you're incapacitated though, which is super not 
like I do. Um, random rotation, and then we could mirror the random rotation. There we go. And then when we clash attack, we'll be doing double damage. Yeah, that is quite good. And then, oh, they have to mirror. Which is that again? Oh man, the Boglin's almost dead, but Spindle is back down to very low health. All right, we can finish off Boglin. Except not really, right? Because he's gonna get. I thought he was. He had this. I don't know. I don't understand. I thought he had Relentless. No, I'm not sure. Okay, we don't want you to take any more damage. This is a clash attack, and he does five damage, which is annoyingly a lot. We are not going to be mirroring that, because that would be very bad. We will do the energy shock, though. Oh, you only do four damage, which is just so little damage. Random rotation. Okay, that was actually good for us, because we do seven now. And then our relentless attack here is going to almost get him. Oh, no, it's not, because he's incapacitated, of course. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Now we can do the attack, and then I guess when we do the clash attack... Oh no, because we're incapacitated once again! Oh my goodness, I should have rotated, and then we could have done it! Oh no, we ended up being fine anyways, it's all good. Oh boy, oh, and he got plus two strength permanently. And we also found a focus token, so leader gains focus. Great. Alright, we've got an elite battle and also a dice smith. Let's head into the dice smith. Maybe we can find something really good. Rerolls all unused dice. Target an unused die, it's re-rolled, or leader attacks opposing leader. I mean, more attacks would probably just be good. A mechanical die, a die that doesn't roll randomly. Why does it have a death symbol and a crown symbol? What does that mean? I mean, I'm kind of curious. And then let's buy these and put something on their trip. The leader slightly hurts itself. Oh my, again, I can't take that off. Okay, target any chimera, its team rotates to make it leader. Okay, let's put two attacks on this new die. I mean, the trip thing would be kind of annoying, but that's all right. We've got more chances now to actually attack, so maybe it's good. Maybe. All right, let's do... Oh wait, how, da how damaged are we? Oh, actually quite damaged. Let's go to the, the bonfire. We are going to need to rest. Yeah, then we're mostly healed. Unfortunately, we can't do anything else. Let's go do the early battle and hope for the best. Oh, there, it's not very much here. I thought this was gonna be much worse, but the Dendroth, I suppose he does have 80, but he is sleeping so we can completely fight this guy first. He gets some bonus damage, and that guy's already done for. Uh, and then he's not going to attack, of course, because he's sleeping, so that was fine. Random rotation, and then rotate left. We're gonna do extra damage. If we do the clash attack first, he's sleeping, so it will do nothing. But then, of course, we're gonna wake him up, but that's okay, because we're also going to wreck this attack. So we've done quite a bit of damage there. 18 for the first turn before he's even had a chance to hurt us at all. Let's do the energy shock. Oh, we should have swapped out because actually you don't do very much damage. We've got the attack here. We can mirror that attack again. And then of course he does have a bit of range so he does get to hit us. Ow, and he hits for 10, which is quite painful. Okay, but now we are focused and we're gonna do 24 damage, which is all of his health. That works, we just rotated twice to get kind of the bonuses on Spindle. To make sure we didn't take 10 more damage because actually we have to go fight the boss now and it's always very scary. I found a horse figure on spawn. If in the lead, gains plus five regen. If not, gains three. Uh, actually, that's a good idea. Let's put that on you because you are in the lead and then you'd have five regen. Although, actually you don't need the regen. You're not the one who's taking most of the damage. I'm gonna put it on you. He'll get three regen. It's not huge, but it is actually better than nothing. Uh, we've also got the free rotation dice. I suppose free rotation dice are better than idle. So why don't we replace those? And then they can always be replaced later.
All right, I think we're just ready for the boss now. Oh my goodness, hopefully this goes okay. Okay, we've got Jabarogas, two Jabarogas. They do 12 damage, are you kidding? It seems that there are a lot of Jabarogas on the on the way here, but is that a bad? Hold on, wait, more Jabarogas are coming? What? They have 38 health and 36, but they do 12 damage and deals damage equal to its strength of its allies when it's knocked out. Deals damage equal to the strength equal to its strength to its allies oh when it's knocked out it deals damage equal to its strength to its allies so it hurts its own allies okay that's interesting uh attacked once per turn gains guard oh that's very annoying okay random rotation then they've got some random moves we've got leader swap we could do um i don't know if we need that we've got a free rotation and a random rotation Let's put Svindle in the front because he's going to have huge amounts of damage. He's not full health, so he's going to be focused. He's going to do crazy damage here. 17 damage, which is quite good. Is he not focused? I don't know. And then let's see what their random things are. A random rotation and another random rotation. Fine. All right, and he's done some healing, which is good. energy oh the trip we could just like not use it though right i don't know actually random taunt and then the clash attack ow it's hurting oh but we killed that jabaroga so yeah when knocked out he does damage to the other enemies which is double here and they've both just hit here so actually getting these jabarogas they could wear whittle down this guy themselves which is quite interesting he can retreat or random. So yeah, you run away. You do random whatever you're going to do there. We will... What are we going to do, actually? Just reckless attack, I guess. And then nothing else, really. We could rotate, but it's not too much happening here. He's healed as much as he's going to heal. We've got a clash. I don't want to do a clash attack. Or... We got the, the mirror, but the mirror is really annoying for this. What's your random thing? Oh, you put him out front. Actually, having him up front for the clash attack is better because he does less damage. Fine. Do that then. Oh, now he's guarding, which is a bit annoying. Because if we do our reckless attack, it's not going to do anything. But we're still going to get incapacitated. So, yeah, we just end our turn. Oh, sorry. Random taunt and then we end our turn. Okay, a regular attack. Then I guess we could do the reckless attack. They've got something random here. Oh, he's guarding. They've swapped places. A taunt. Why don't we rotate as well and then do the random one? They rotated a bit. And then next turn, I guess we could try to rotate. That would give someone a bonus. Ooh, yeah, that's actually really good. So rotate right. Energy blast does damage to everybody. And he's now at 17. He's also entered the lead, so he's now focused. It's going to do huge damage to everybody. That's exciting. <laughs> Very good. Although he's got a guard up, which is really annoying. Okay, clash attack though, I do not want. Although it will kill two of them. Uh, but he will be down to one health, which is super unfortunate. I right, will just do this. Because will that actually trigger his shield? It doesn't trigger his shield, but... Do that again. Oh, there we've broken his guard there. Oh, but then he just got it again. Random rotation. Random rotation. Oh, no, the clash attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so Windle's going down, which is really unfortunate because he's our damage dealer. Yeah, that's bad. Escobar does not have good damage. I think we're probably going to lose him next. If we survive this, we'll get rid of him. Uh, rotate to Lutrish because the energy blast, at least he does seven. Clash attack. A random rotation or do the clash attack first. I don't want to risk getting the 12, then randomly rotate. Oh, we could have used that, I suppose, to swap out their leaders. So we could have decided, but. All right, put the guard up. Then we'll do a clash attack here. And it doesn't matter because we both have guards. Then we will energy blast. They are going to entangle us, which is not a big deal. We'll just use this to break it and then they can attack a random enemy. We'll send or attack one of us randomly. 
back to Escobar, that's probably fine. Okay, now what? Um, They've got a clash attack and a random rotation. We've got the energy shock, but it's going to do not a huge amount of damage. We can guard though, and then the clash attack. He's going to give five strength, which is actually better. So if we rotate, then he's going to go up to nine. So when we do the energy shock, it's actually slightly better. They can do a random rotation. He does damage there. And then this is going to hurt those guys, which is also very good. All right, we're getting close. We're wearing him down. He's down to 20. We're, we could actually win this. I'm surprised. Right, attack. That gets rid of him. That's going to do damage to both of them. This guy's almost dead. He's got eight health. Guards back up though. They are going to be doing a ranged attack. I think go for Lutrish. Random. Oh, I guess that's just a rotation. We get to hit them when they rotate, so it's not that bad. We could freely rotate. I think, yeah, let's switch to Lutris so that next turn maybe we can do a rotate again and then get Escabel some more health. It's going to be a reckless attack. They can do a random taunt. That's not a big deal. We rotate. Then we reckless attack with nine. Got that guy down to three. And he's frozen, so next turn we're going to do tons of damage to him. Not that it matters because he's almost dead anyways, but... Right, attack. That means he's gone. They're going to rotate out. Yes, okay, Carappa is gone. Oh, so we have survived it, actually. Whew. Okay, new equipment choice. Odd soup on spawn plus five strength the rest of the battle and self-inflicts four confusion. Mm, not ideal. Uh, Chimera Molt. Plus four to our max HP, plus four to one strength, and plus one to our intelligence. I mean, that's good, right? Plus four HP, plus one strength. Or this one. On spawn grants two regen to a random ally three times. Ooh, that's good, actually. That could that could be really helpful. I think I might go for that. Random regen. Put it on you, and we'll just grant people regen. And we're going on to the third <laughs> area, which I've actually never made it to before. Uh, so what is exciting? We definitely needed this. And how do we get over to those guys? A few battles now. We are going to be full health, so we may as well go and start fighting. But these are going to be much tougher enemies. I mean, already, like, they have huge health. We have to fight Swindle. So, not ideal. Right, he's got seven regen. He's got two regen. That's feeling good. Uh, let's do the rotate to give bonuses. Plus five strength there. Then when we do the reckless attack, it's not so bad, but let's do the clash attack first. Oh, that hurts. He does 10. That's insane. Micro heal at... Micro heal for 13? Are you kidding? That's not a micro heal. That's a major heal. That's insane. Ugh. Oh no. Enter lead. Attacks the opposing leader. Okay, that's not going nearly as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> not gonna lie. Didn't go great for us. Swindle is almost dead already. Luckily, he does have some regen. But, ow. Very much ow. Okay. Fighting him is the best because he only does six damage. The rest do way more. That's the, the clash attack. Then we will reckless attack. And then probably some rotations here. Let's get, get you back in the front, I think. What do we have here? Blame, random rotation, and attack. Uh, the attack is actually probably fine here because it do, you do do the least amount of damage. Blame misses, which is fine. Then we can do the rotating. He takes some damage. You rotate because you're going to give somebody a buff. So when they do the reckless attack, it does more damage. Excellent. And you're incapacitated, but it's not a big deal. He's still healing and giving out the confusion, which is also very nice. Um, energy, or we could do a random rotation. Random rotation. Oh, that was this one. That's not really what we wanted. Uh, I think this way. Energy shock. Here, so we do that twice. Oh, they're going to attack us, though. Don't attack with that guy, though. Attack with this guy. It's way better. Ow, but he enters lead and he gets to a free attack. Actually, so it was probably better just to leave it as was. All right, we've got attack. They've got an attack though. And if we, they attack, they're going to kill poor Lutrish. So let's rotate. Yeah, Swindle is full health and he's still getting some stuff. Let, oh no, then you could guard though. 
Then they could attack. Then we can reckless attack. They can taunt. That's not a problem. And then they can rotate. Oh, no, but... Oh, but Spindle has actually hasn't been hit. Because when he enters the lead, if he's not full health, he'll gain focus. So, but we haven't hit him yet, so he's fine. Ideally, I think, yeah, we want to swap these guys around. Oh, we can kill you. That's good. Oh, good. It was this guy. So clash attack with him. Oh, I almost got him. It's so close, actually. Uh, we can attack again. Then they're going to rotate out and we can do the mirror attack here. Now he entered full health, so he doesn't get the focus and now he can't actually be entering again. So I think that's quite good. Rotate around to Lutrish so that hopefully we can knock him out and then, or not knock him out, but move him around and then give the extra bonus. Rotate to the right would be... Is that the way we want to go? Yes. As it puts Swindle back in the front. And he gets plus five strength, plus he's entered the lead, not full health, so he gets focus, so that's very good. Clash attack, we could do huge damage. The random taunt doesn't really matter. Um, we can just attack for huge numbers here. And then the clash attack. Ow. Oh man, taking that damage back though. We're down to four health. We will heal for one, but still. We cannot do another clash attack, but hopefully we can do enough damage here. Oh no, the energy blast is not enough damage. Ow. Ah, actually, but energy blast and then the clash attack will be enough damage. There we go, okay. But Spindle has actually been knocked out, which is very bad. We're going to need to find a way to revive him now. We could go... There was a campsite, wasn't there? Lightly heals the whole team. That will not lightly heal Spindle, though, because he is knocked out. All right, we could get down to these. We have to do another battle. The abandoned tent's going to give us another backpack. Uh, which I kind of want to put on Spindle, but we'll probably put on Lutrish. Definitely not on Escobar, because I'm going to probably get rid of him. And you can have that back and get your three health again. Uh, and then we have no choice. We have to either battle or battle. Let's go to this battle, and then hopefully we can get those uh, shrines down there. Oh no, not the same guys again. Oh, that was rough. We already lost a person. And we could try to do full revive token on Spindle. Or even the revive token to half heal him, maybe. But I think for now, let's rotate around. Then we can do our reckless attack. Although they also get to do attack. But then we did rotate. Then they can mirror their rotate. And we'll end our turn. He is healing back up to full, but he only does four damage. It's so bad. Okay, rotate around. Then we'll rotate again. Because then he gets more damage. Then we can attack. Then we will do their clash attack. Then... Oh, actually, we should rotate, actually. Oh, no. He... Ow. We should have rotated the other way. Ow. We definitely should have rotated <laughs> the other way. Oh, that was so rough. Why have I made such bad decisions? I mean, I'm not surprised, but... All right. Energy shot. Oh, you just do so little damage. Swap this out. It's outrageous. Right, clash attack and then reckless attack and then let them rotate okay we get quite a few bits of damage here let's do the clash attack first because we're going to get frozen which is a bit annoying because that's going to do double damage but we can attack we can attack again we can mirror and then we can rotate them. Uh, don't put the guy in front. Do it this way. All right, they can rotate. Oh no, it puts them in front. Ow! Oh, I just, I just killed Lutrish. I just killed Lutris. This is very bad. Oh no, that was a rotation. Just rotate again. We can recklessly attack, but then we're going to be incapacitated. It's not the worst thing, but it is quite bad. He is healing, but he's having a bad time. Uh, we need to do the guard. Then the clash attack. That's going to get rid of him. But we still have two more to fight and there's only one of us. We may have to break out one of these revive tokens. In fact, I think the only way we're going to survive is if we bring out one of these revive tokens. So let's use the 50% revive on Spindle. And have him back to help us. It just it could be good. He's also got three regen. 
Okay, I don't know what to do. Random. Ah, oh, did a rotate. Oh, and then we did damage. So if we put him back in the front ever now, we're gonna have a bad time. No, we're already going to have a bad time. Right, reckless attack. We're now incapacitated. Oh, no, he gets to hit. I, oh, boy. We need to just get rid of this Amandoro. I think we should be able to do it this turn. Or not. It's very close, though. I guess with the clash attack, but the clash attack will also take us out. Uh, rotate. This will do it. You're stronger. But the reckless... Wow, well, we have to do the clash attack first. So the clash attack will just get rid of you. That's actually okay. And then you reckless attack. But we can't do it twice, unfortunately. Oh, and they're going to do the random taunt, but that doesn't matter because there's only one guy left to fight. Now, when he does attack, though, he does have focus, which is super annoying. <laughs> but actually, what if we do this? And then we do this. Does he get focus? He does. Okay. Then if we reckless attack, we do good damage. He is taunting. Doesn't matter. Ow. Oh, no, but he killed us. Oh, no. No, it's just you, little Escobar. You need to take him down. Do more damage. Mirror that attack. Oh, gosh, it's the last one. Right. He missed. Okay, whatever it was, he missed. We needed to do two damage. Reckless attack. Oh, phew. Okay. We did it, but only just barely. That is... Phew, scary. <laughs> right, let's go to the shrine. I'd like to recruit someone to swap out here. 28, seven damage, two intelligence. Rotation, grants two intelligence to its allies for the rest of the turn. Oh, that's just not very good, actually. I don't think we want this guy. The intelligence things, we're not, we've not really done anything with it. If we go and fight another battle, though, I don't know if we're going to survive it. No, we're not. We've only got you with six health. Oh, my. are you kidding? That's it? Oh, we're definitely not going to make it. So then what do we do? Do we... Do we try to just... Oh, I can't get it now that I've left. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I guess we're going to a battle then. Uh, we could use our full heal. Marmuragma. Oh, great. Turn end inflicts four burn on the opposing leader. We have this only one person. We do have a full revive, though. Oh, heal all. Oh, no, we would need to be alive, though. So we'll have to use the full revive. I think on Swindle. He's our best damage guy. So yeah, we'll get him out here. We are going to, oh my, what are we going to do? They have a clash attack, which would kill you, but it would also be very devastating for basically anybody else. Um, What's your random thing? Oh, a rotation. Not really what we wanted actually, but if we rotate, he gets a free attack. So let's just do that. Rotate you guys around a bit. We are gonna then rotate and then we're gonna do your clash attack. Then we're going to attack and then we're going to mirror that. And that's quite good. Oh, and the end of the turn, though, he's going to be burning. Actually, could we swap out? There we go. Oh, is that always the case, though? Oh, yeah, it is always the case. I was wondering if it was only when he was a leader, but it's not. It would say that if it was that. To be fair, it would say that. Um, Energy blast. We've got a clash attack. Oh, it's, it's going to be quite devastating to us. Uh, You know what? It's going to kill this guy anyway, so just do the clash attack here. Yeah, that's oh, harsh. Now he's focused, though. Uh, oh, they're going to get the guard, though, which is a bit annoying. Do that. Rotate there. And turn. We are six burned, though. Six burn is very bad, I would say. Oh, no, and they're getting more shield. Are you kidding? Wait, we got this guy, though. But the burn's going to take us out. We're not going to have a chance here. Um, And he's got a shield. If we're, this is going to be the end of us. I have no other chance. Like we could use this. This is our last, like, this is our Hail Mary here. That, the burn, the burn is going to hurt. All right, Energy Blast and Demir. They've got the guard and then Clash Attack. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Then we'll do that again. Um, they can have another guard, I guess. And then the Clash Attack is basically going to take us out here. Ow, it hurts so much. He's confused now. At least there's that. We can do three. Oh, we can do a ton of attacks here, actually. Attack, attack, and mirror. Oh my goodness, we survived it. How did we survive? I mean, we used all of our tokens. That's how we survived it. 
It's no wonder, really. Please revive me. All right, we can go to the shrine. There's also the shop and the dice smith. Let's go to the shrine. Ideally, we get someone to replace the other guy. Please be something really good. A Bakumu. Enter or exit lead. Small chance of inflicting sleep on the strongest opponent. Yep, we are going to recruit you. Oh, hold on. You need to take that off. And we're going to be replacing Escabel. Sorry, Escabel. All right, now we leave. So we've got two people who are alive now, at least. Let's go to the dice smith and see if we can get some better dice. What have we got? Oh. Strong attack. Leader attacks plus 100% of damage dealt. Misses if enemy has unused dice. Okay, so you have to use all the enemy's dice. Reroll or the mirror. I mean, that is quite good. Oh, we get another die and put these things on. We already have like four though. But I mean, that is just other free attacks really. Um, it's quite a lot of our money, but I think we'll go for it anyways. Let's stick those on here, the strong attacks. Got two on here. Or... Yeah, we have to use all the enemy's dice, but then we can use that one. And look, now we have five dice to roll. I feel, that feels pretty good, actually. We could also... We could also get re-roll all. Re-rolls all of our unused dice. Or we could get the mirror. I mean, the mirror could be good as well. No, we can't get the mirror. We'd have no money. We are one coin short on that one. I'm more concerned that we're not completely, like, alive. What do we have here? 43. Plus one strength, plus one intelligence. I mean, it's not bad because we, we could afford it. And we can't afford anything else. So, remove team's debuffs. Oh, target. It fully heals. Let's get that. A small die that only lasts for one battle. I don't think we need that. We'll just get this. A fully healy thing. It could be helpful. It's our only chance, really. Let's head over to this battle. This could be the end. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, there's a little Nootsie. And a goal? Small chance of granting focus to the ally leader. Not ideal. Exit lead. New leader gains guard. Oh, so bad. Why? Purify. It missed. Okay, good. I don't even know what that is, so... Let's do a rotation. Oh, and he gained focus. Isn't that nice? So good. Now he does double damage. Yay. All right, strong attack. There's no more enemy dice, so strong attack is very good. And then we can do a regular attack. And then we can do a reckless attack. And then we can call it a day. Yeah, that's good. Oh, wait. Oh, no, he's got burned again. Oh, the burn is so bad. Please stop that. Um, this is not nice. Purify. What did Purify do again? I think it just removes debuffs, I think. Clash attack. That's going to be quite bad. We could rotate you, though. Oh, we could do the energy blast first, actually. And then mirror it again, because that's going to hit twice. Yeah, and that guy's gone now. Do that again. And then if you do... Oh, no, that's going to kill us. Um, oh, you are not going to make it anyways. Rotate for free. Then... Oh, it put him to sleep. Oh, excellent. Okay, clash attack. He's going to miss. We get to hit. They rotate. And then we should be able to strong attack. 14 damage here on this guy. Oh, boy. All right, a bit of burning, but Spindle is also doing a bit of healing, and I'll take it. Energy shock. We got some rotate. We don't have anything good here. Uh, clash attack. We could do... It's not ideal deal at all oh this guy does more damage though um okay let's do a rotate he gets oh he gets the focus too which is actually going to do a lot more damage oh no wait but why is he doing more damage he's going to completely kill us why does is he focused or something's happened to us Do this again. If he enters lead... Oh, can we put him to sleep? Okay, that's good. We put him to sleep. <laughs> we put him to sleep. Oh, my goodness. All right, turn ends. We get burned. We knew that was going to happen. Spindle's healing up and he gets confused. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And guarding. We don't really want you to do that, if I'm honest. Random. Guard, I guess. Um, And then I guess reckless attack, but he's got guard. Now you're incapacitated, but we can rotate. He's entered lead, so he gets focused, and I think that stays for next turn. He does get burned, though, but it's still fine. I'll still take it. It's fine.
All right, energy shock. I think if we, yeah, if we do a clash attack, we will be in a good spot. I think we could actually win this one. Whew, it's feeling good. It's feeling likely that we're going to win it. Uh, I don't know what this random's going to do. It's a rotate. Fine, rotate. End of the turn. Oh, we get burned again. That's all right. We can deal with the burn. All right, reckless attack. We've got him. He's done for. We did it. Oh, we survived it. Still don't have our Lutrish back, but we. I mean, maybe we'll find something to heal him. I don't know. It's, it's, oh, we didn't get any bonuses. Well, maybe the broodberry bush. Uh, plus two max health. I think we probably give it to to Spindle again. I think he's our best guy at the moment. So if he has a lot of extra health, I don't think it's going to hurt us. Uh, if we go get some debris, we can just pick that item up. A wandering hero, what's this? <laughs> Greetings, commoner. Would you lend me a piece of your equipment to ease my heroic endeavors? Oh, we don't, we haven't been using is this. We should definitely be using this. What does this one do? Plus four strength if his health is not full. Oh, that's on spawn, right. Hold on, we should move these things around. I don't really have anything good. We could give a, oh. Um, oh, we could give him the Ring of Sloth. A fine piece of gear. You can thank me when I save our world from evil grasp of Salem. And he gave us the Jade Brooch. On equip, it gets plus 10 max HP. On unequip, minus 11. So you just have to never take it off. So we're going to give it to Bakumu. All right, we can go to the Traveler. There's also this shrine. This shrine might give us some things. Uh, revives and or lightly heals. Yeah, there we go. Lutrish is now alive. He's not super healthy, but he's not dead. So there's that. Give 10 gold and gain some healing equipment is what we're going to go for. We could use some healing. Heals its allies one HP at the end of a turn. Yes, please. And thank you. All right, what do we got? We've got a curse chest and a battle. Let's go up to the curse chest. Gain a piece of a lion scudum. Deals damage equal to its own strength to the opposing leader. Guard. Deals damage equal to its own strength to the opposing leader. I guess that's good. Or if there's no more dice, gain a gold. I think let's go for the Scutum. Um, there's an elite battle and a regular. Let's go to the regular battle first. I'm scared of the elite. And we're getting so close to the end here. <laughs> I'd love to actually finish one. All right, we got lots of regen going out to people, which is great. That's definitely going to be helping the cause here. Now, Ideally, we don't want to be fighting Swindle first, but I don't want to be doing a clash attack with the Morsepion if I can avoid it because he does 10 damage and 10 damage is just a lot of damage. So let's do the clash attack. Let's let them rotate. Then we can do our strong attack. We can do a regular attack. We can do a reckless attack. And we will rotate left, so Lutris is in the front, so then next time he can give someone a buff. And Bakumu gets to heal people. Oh, it's so good. Oh, fantastic. People have got their regen as well on top of that. And he gets confusion. This is going quite well. Uh, freezing one, not ideal, but we'll do it. Free rotation. Oh, we could actually just... Um... Hold on. Reckless attack. <laughs> then we're going to rotate ourselves. When he gets some bonuses, you guys can rotate. Then do whatever your random thing is. Oh, it rotated again. Kind of fine. Strong attack's going to completely finish him off. Oh, actually, we lead ourselves. We can swap those guys around. I want to do the strong attack against you. And then I'm going to mirror it. And that's going to just about kill him. Yeah, that is very good. We might be able to kill him before he has a chance to use his uh, focus. Oh, and Bakum, like everyone is like full, like the healing is so good. All right, energy shock actually finishes him off. He is out of here. The only problem is, oh, actually no, reckless attack finishes him off. Oh my goodness. That was our best fight yet. I think we're like, we're doing so good. This is a long episode. If you guys have stuck around this far, I'm really impressed. You deserve a gold star. Eat sweet blueberry. Lightly heals the chimera of your choice. Yes, lightly heal Lutrish. That sounds nice. 
Okay, back out here, we've got, oh, the campfire or the elite battle. Now, as far as how damaged we are, we're actually doing really good. So what if we went to the bonfire? No, let's go do the elite battle. Then we can go to the bonfire and heal up if we need to. <laughs> Could be good. Okay, Swindle. Oh, this is this guy. He probably puts people to sleep. On spawn, inflicts and sleeps a random opponent. So one of us is now sleeping. Uh, it looks like it's Bakumu. All right, we've got an energy shock. We've got, let's do the guard. They can do the freezing. And then when they attack, it gets rid of the freezing and it gets rid of the guard. So we've actually saved ourselves from a major bit of damage there. And we will rotate them around and be on our merry way here. And we're still healing up, which is great. All right, energy blast is amazing. But if I rotate randomly, no, if we rotate left and then we rotate right, he's going to get extra damage. Then when we energy blast, it's going to hit on everybody for extra damage. Yeah, 17 on everyone. How good is that? Then we can... Oh, we could do that again, actually. Mirror that move. Fantastic. 34 damage in one turn. How good is that? Then when we clash attack, this Joel guy is done. Which is great, because then he's not going to be giving leader to the new person. And then question mark, and oh, he's entered Lee, so he's got focus. Hopefully we can just take him out fairly quickly. Because I don't want him to be doing 16 points of damage to anybody. That's not a fun time. All right, random taunt is fine. I think rotate to the right. Then we can clash attack, I think, next. Actually, guard first. Then the clash attack doesn't do anything to us. Even better. Then we can attack. And he's frozen, which kills him because now he's like taking more damage. Now he's focused though, which is a bit scary. But we can reckless attack here. We're incapacitated, but it's the end of the turn, so it's fine. And look at like everyone's like full health again. It's amazing. All of our healing and Bakumu is just like sleeping in the back. He's just having a rest for this whole battle. Right, guard. Then we can clash attack. Fantastic. Random. They missed. Oh my god, it's so good. Uh, we can attack. Then we can strong attack. Oh, and he's frozen on top of that. Oh, he had no chance. No chance. And we're basically full health. Oh, so good. Uh, calcium shell gives plus eight max HP. Very good. Ooh, and a ranged attack. We don't have any ranged attacks yet. Let's put one in the idol. There we go. And do we want to give someone the calcium shell, actually? Um, that's if KO'd. Grants to regen. I like the regen ones. He's got all the healing things there. Uh, plus 10 to his health, heals allies. We have a lot of healing things. You've got both the, all the stuff there. Um, I mean, we, I mean, we could just give it to somebody. What does this give you? More HP. What does this give you? Oh, one more damage and one more HP. Or we could have just eight more HP. Ah, uh, let's go with this. I think that's good. Might as well put all the stuff on them. We're going to go to the campfire. Uh, we do not need to heal. So we are going to eat to slightly raise the stat. They all got, yep, their stats have all gone up, which is just really good. And we're gonna go fight the final boss. The final boss, we've actually made it. Oh my goodness. Uh, Galvarin here looks very scary. Once per turn, grants his allies one strength, rest the battle. Okay, not the worst. The Nootsies grant focus though, so that's a bit annoying. You can randomly rotate, um, but then he gains strength. Little annoying, uh, but we can do um, a nice energy shot and a strong attack. And that's pretty good for our turn. Is Bakumu still sleeping? Is that like, he, oh, he doesn't like stop sleeping in between turns. I thought that would have probably gone, but apparently not. Bakumu is still having a little nap. So let's, well, let's just see how that goes. Plus three to our confusion. We've got something random. Let's see what the random thing is. 11 damage. We probably should have done the guard first. Ouch. Okay, well, we'll put the guard on. Because it just stays there, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I think let's take out this guy. And then the energy blast hits everybody. It's almost going to kill that Nutsi, actually. Yeah, really close. Okay, that was quite good. Let's rotate to the right, because that puts Lutris in the front. So if we rotate the other way around, then... We're gonna get the bonuses, which can only be a good thing as long as it's not Bakumu who goes in the front. Everyone's just healing up still. 
Um, yes. Oh, it is rotate right. Rotate right. Bakuma can go in the front. If you attack him, then he's going to wake up. So, that's good. And he has tons of health, so it's not a big deal. 15 damage also, so he's going to do 15 damage to everyone. We're just going to kill that Nootsie, which is fantastic. Then we can energy shock that front guy. 15 damage is a very good amount of damage. We could freely rotate, or we can just continue to hang out here. I mean, everyone's doing just fine, let's be honest. Um, attack. Oh, let's do the guard and then the attack, because then that just protects us. Why don't you guys rotate? We'll do... Oh, oh it's giving us people strength. And focus. Okay, that's a little scary. Maybe be more careful with that one in the future. Let's put, um, Lutrish back in the front. And end our turn. He does 13. That is a lot of damage. Ooh, and he wants to actually hurt us, so which is super not cool. Actually, it's fine. We do guard, and then a clash attack here. We should also do a random rotation there. You're going to get bonuses then. And we can do the attack, and then the reckless attack. And then I guess the... What's, what's the random one? Oh, it's rotating there. And then if we do this to here, he would just lose the shield. It's okay. We've actually been getting this guard up a few times. Like, we've been very lucky with those dice rolls, I think. Which I will definitely take. It's fine. Ooh, okay. Uh, they have a clash attack here, which is a little unfortunate, maybe. Do free rotate. No, I think we still want you in the front. We've got a lot of attacks here, though. He's now frozen. Um, I think, yeah, we can eliminate him completely here. Although, actually, oh, I should probably shouldn't have done that. Ow, that's painful. Oh, and they get another attack. Okay, like, rotate. Rotate. Uh, put... Actually, Bakumu still has more health, so put him in the front. Oh, it's put him to sleep. Okay, that's worked out very well for us then. Uh, we can strong attack him, which will wake him up, but... I think that's still good. Okay, Bakumu, putting people in the front. Or putting Bakumu in the front is actually very helpful then. Um, the clash attack is not great, though, but we're gonna have to do it. Let's do the free rotation and get Findle in the front. Is that a good idea? No, it's not, because now he's going to die. Uh, hold on. Attack. Energy shock. Uh, I can't... Oh, I can leader swap ourselves, right? Let's swap here then. Okay, that's good. So you can swap anyone. That's just nice. Okay, do that. And then the strong attack. We've almost got him. We've almost got him. He's got 23 health. That's like not that much. And we get to do some healing, which is good. And he's confused. Ranged attack. Get him. Um, the energy shock. Oh, and then if we just do our attack, we've got him. <gasps> we did it. Oh my goodness. I don't think I was expecting that. We have defeated Galvrin there. Ah, we've completed this one. This is our first time completing this skull thing. Our very first victory. New talisman unlocked. The Wrath Talisman. You can now start a new adventure with this talisman. And the mausoleum has appeared. And we explore a new biome and discover its fauna. New enemies appear in the biome. Ooh, sacred texts are now there. Amazing. Oh, and we've unlocked some new chimeras as well. What is that? Oh, that's cool. Ooh, this is going to be so much fun. I absolutely love this game. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.